All the years that I was a, a firefighter responding to heart cases with people and all the emergency calls you go on, all these things, it never enters your mind that uh, one day you're going to be on the, on the receiving end of all of this treatment and great care. I'm Richard Hins, and I'm the retired fire chief here in the city of Glendale. On April 15th, 2008, I collapsed at home. I was unconscious and in fact had to be defibrillated because I was in cardiac arrest when I got here. And through the uh, great care of Glendale Adventist Hospital and uh, Dr. Uh, Hugo uh, Dollinger in particular, uh, I'm here today to speak to you. Uh, when I first uh, arrived at the scene, I, I certainly thought the prognosis was extremely grim. I've been doing this uh, job for 31 years and I have never seen a patient whose heart has stopped eight times and arrived without a pulse and without blood pressure. On top of that, he had been bleeding from an ulcer, so we have to use very potent blood thinners. So imagine my uh, conundrum here, that I have to give you blood thinners when you're bleeding. On top of that, the chief had not only one artery occluded, but two of them. So most of the time you have, uh, in the heart, you have one problem at a time, but not two. So for uh, some uh, miracle of God, uh, things turn around and everything started doing great. You know, 48 hours after the event, the chief to woke up and started to ask for food and wanted to, you know, he was feeling perfect. <laughs> you know the the chances of something like this happening again is less than five percent the year after my event uh, my daughter said well now you're one you're you're one year old so she celebrates a, a new birthday each year I'm, I'm now three in her mind's eye 